Hey guys, Bob here, AKA Mr. Reef Safe, and today I'm gonna dip some corals. There are plenty of ways to dip corals. Lots of different coral dips that you can use, even some that are not made for corals, but made for, as an insecticide, such as Bayer's. But today, I'm simply going to use Reef RX. But that's not what it's about. It's not about the dip, it's about how I do it. So I'm gonna get right to it by sharing. What I use is a kitchen bowl and a strainer. This is a dedicated one that is only used for corals because I don't want that stuff that I'm using to dip the coral in, whatever it might be, to be used for something that we might eat from and vice versa. I don't want something that we're cooking with to get into the stuff that I'm dipping with. I put the water in the bowl, I put the strainer in here. I'm able to move this up and down to get aggregation from the water. And then also, I don't have to get my hands wet and in the chemical, I can just lift it up, let the water drain out, and I can grab the frag at will. My corals come in little bags when I get them. So you'll need something to open them up with. I find just a pair of scissors easier than trying to mess with the rubber band, cut it open. And then I have some tank water here that I will put into the bowl. So I'll start out by pouring my water into the bowl. This is water directly from the tank. And I wanna leave just a little bit in there because when I'm done with the dip, I wanna be able to put them in here and rinse off any of the dip that might be on it. Now, I'm not worried about the water that comes with the coral because this water is not going to enter the tank, so I don't mind putting this into the dip. and 10 minutes is the max limit that they suggest, and that is what I stick with. So I have my timer set for 10 minutes, and every few moments, I'm going to take my colander and lift it up and push it back down. What this will do is agitate the water, and as you can see in the video, each of the holes from the colander act like a little jet as the water gets forced through them, and that rushes over the coral, so any kind of pest that might be on there will be blown off, and of course the dip will do most of the work, making it weak and, and killing it, um, but it will also, this will also help get anything on there that might not be gotten by the dip. Alexa, stop. All right, the 10 minutes is up, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my corals out of the dip, and I'm gonna put them in my clean tank water. So any dip that is on them now will be rinsed off and give me one more layer of protection from getting stuff in the tank that I don't want there. So once your dip is done, the next thing to do is to get the coral into the tank. Some people like to use fire plugs. I prefer to have a more natural look or at least as natural as a glass box of water with corals and fish from all different areas around the world can look. So what I use is the Marcos Nano Shelf Rock. Now the staghorn will go on a piece of the rock rubble and that'll be placed into my aquascape. But the other two are Sophastria. One is Meteor Shower, the other is Jingle Bell. Now those two will be glued to the back of my tank so that it will hopefully encrust the back glass, giving it a different look. A lot of tanks just have that wall of black and of course the coral line growing over it. I'm trying to go for a slightly different look here. I've never quite seen it that way before. I hope it works out, we'll tell in time. If you haven't already done so, now is the time to choose where your coral is gonna live. Now in my case, I've chosen, it's gonna go between the cotton candy and the Walt Disney coral right here in the center above that green slimer. And it will be there, hopefully there permanently. But since I did glue it to a piece of uh, rubble, if I need to, I can break that piece of rubble off of there and move that. And so at some point, the coral will encrust a little bit over the, the rock that it's glued to, or if you use a frag plug, and it's harder to move at that point if you put it directly to your aquascape. But if you have it on a piece of uh, rubble or a frag plug, you can just move that whole piece. And that's what I've been doing in this tank for the last four months, and it's worked for me. Uh, time will tell if that goes, if that works going forward, but I've read and seen a lot of other people do it, and I've actually done it in the past with other tanks. But I've also made plenty of mistakes of gluing it straight to the aquascape, and I don't want to do that in this tank, so I am taking my time to make sure it's done right.
there is hopefully and is quote forever home and quote and it's already had visitors checking it out uh, the local life is coming up trips have checked it out uh, the fish have come up and that is kind of normal whenever they get something new in the tank they want to see if it's food so the corals are in the tank they seem like they're in good places it seems like they'll get the right amount of light and the right amount of flow However, if something comes up and it does not do well in that area, it's easy enough to move. The snag cord is on a piece of rubble, as I said, and I can take and move that. Over time, it will continue to grow, and of course, that's at a point where I'll have to frag it and either share it or sell it or find something else to do, maybe donate it to one of my local fish stores. Well, I hope you found this informative. I know many of you already do this stuff. You do the dipping already, maybe even have a quarantine tank. But for those of you who don't, this is a great way to introduce corals into your tank. It makes sure that you do not get unwanted pests into your tank and thus cause trouble down the road. So well, that's it guys. That's how I dip corals before I put them into my tank. I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna introduce any unwanted pests into my tank. I have a lot of money invested in this, as I'm sure you do, and this is a great way to make sure that your corals and your inhabitants of your tank are safe. I'm Bob, aka Mr. Reeves Safe. Please like and subscribe and comment below.